Maranatha, my PBC family and friends, Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. Today our word is going to come from uh, 2 Samuel 23. Uh, this is the end of David's uh, ministry, and as a matter of fact, it starts off by saying in the very first part of that chapter that these are the last words of David, David the son of Jesse, anointed of the Lord, so on and so forth. And this is what David has to say, and it's interesting to me as we read what David has to say, how this applies to our hearts directly, and, and it certainly applies to our world and the time in which we live. And so what I want to read to us is just, uh, I want to pick up verse 3, and I want to read down through verse 5. And I want you to listen to the words of David here about what God had to say to him. And then we're going to come back and talk about this. It says, The God of Israel said, The rock of Israel spake to me. He that ruleth over men must be just, ruling in the fear of God. And he shall be as the light of the morning, when the sun rises, even the morning without clouds, as the tender grass springing out of the earth by clear shining after the rain. Although my house be not so with God, yet he hath made me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things, and sure, for this, I'm sorry, <laughs> For this, I apologize, guys. Uh, my, my thing tried to go off. Anyway, although my house be not so with God, yet he hath made me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things, and sure, for this is all my salvation and all my desire, although he make it not to grow. So you'll remember David's house went on to have some serious issues. But the point of the matter is, that what's interesting to me is what he actually had to say to David about who should rule in Israel. He said, the God of Israel said, the rock of Israel said, spoke unto him and said, him that rules over men must be just and ruling in the fear of God. And he shall be the light of the morning, the sun that rises. And so now, is this really honestly how we would describe David's entire life? No. Would this be how we describe any king's entire life? No. Would we describe very many presidents like this? No. Would we describe very many world leaders like this? Nope. Would we describe even your local pastor like this all the time? Mm -mm, not well. I mean, I pray God they, they are more that way than not, and myself included. And the point of the matter is, is that this, this does not describe any one leader the world has ever known, save for one. See, here's the point. And as he goes on, he says, even though all of my house be not so with God, in other words, here's the point. Even if the whole world is falling apart and it's not that way with God, there is still one who does rule who is like this. There is still one who rules justly. There's still one who rules in the fear of God. There's still one who, who uh, rules with the salvation. There's still one who rules with light. He's light in uh, even though it may be dark times. That one ruler we all know is our Savior, Jesus Christ. See, what we need to recognize is that there is one who is in control. There is one who will always sit on his throne, and there's one who will always rule. So we don't need to get so, uh, whatever the right word is, I can't think of the right word right now, about, about the way things go, sometimes how things fall apart, and sometimes how wicked the world may seem, and sometimes even how it creeps into the church. We don't need to be upset about. Because there is one who rules justly. But remembering that also should be kind of a sobering thought for us. Because those things that we think we get away with, those little um, lies and those little uh, mistruths and misguidance and those little bit of, well, this doesn't really harm anybody. I'm just you know, defending my flesh or whatever the case may be. Those things that just ruler will deal with as well. He will deal with those things as well. And so we need to remember that he is that light. He exposes all darkness, even in his children. So I hope this encourages you today not only to remember that our God is ruling and that he is always that good and just and perfect ruler, the ruler of light, but also challenge you to let him expose the light in your own life that you may get your house dealt with so that you can be more, more like David, honoring to the king in everything you possibly do. We pray for these things. I pray you have a great weekend. Remember, I love you. We love you. God loves you, and God's got this.